Hello everybody, this is Jandy the Artsy Rose, and welcome back to Philip's Main Story. Uh, excuse me for a moment. <sighs> okay. So. Ready for a little story? Ready for the life of chapter 7? Hmm. There were already a number of noble women wearing the most beautiful dresses. I found the king. I glanced around to find him, but it was hard to spot anyone when everyone around me was dressed in splendor. I heard excited screaming coming from the pillar to the rear right, to the rear right-handed side of the room. I looked over and saw Orlando there. He always stands out. I know, Orlando sh m should most definitely go to the side of the king if I follow him. I tried to get closer, but a group of noblewomen had already flocked to him, forming a barricade. Sorry, please let me through. But none of the ladies heard me as they followed Orlando's every move. At the same time, I could hear shrill whispering at the, le at the back to the left. Did you see him? Of course, went through five handkerchiefs while reading his latest book, sending you a love that transcends 1,000 years. Oh, I went through ten! The ladies were having a strange argument. I got the feeling that rather than being fans of the book, many of them were fans of Philip himself. Philip tore my heart out with his, dis with his dis description of a single-minded love. You know what I'm saying? His story was based on his real experience, and sadly the girl didn't end up coming to Nivalhom. Huh? So that means that Philip... All this time? I froze after learning the shocking truth, and I found myself being swallowed up by the sea of people. His Majesty finished his greetings, and I stood by, and I stood at his side, half managing, only half managing to smile. I don't have time for this. Wanting to know the truth, I searched desperately for Philip, but there were so many people around that I couldn't find him. I felt inwardly impatient, but the music that began didn't reflect my mood, as it signaled it was time to dance. You will be expected to dance the first dance with His Majesty, no matter what. The king walked up to me with, with a superior air and took my hand. Let's go, Jandy. But even then, I kept searching. Where could Philip be? The king wrapped an arm around my waist. He seemed so different to how he was normally that it gave my heart that it gave my heart. There was none of his usual rash behavior as he. Clever. But despite seeing the king in a new light, I still searched the crowd for Philip at every turn. I'm sorry, your majesty. Ah! I spotted Philip. The timing worked out perfectly as the song came to an end, and the king had an invitation, had an invitation to dance for one another lady. I tried waving my hand and my arm the moment I was free, but I was completely surrounded by other people. Ah! What do you think you are doing? Ah! What do you think you are doing? S sorry! I ended up hitting someone. Running to himself would be faster. Running to him would be faster. See you later, Your Majesty. I kept my eyes fixed on Philip, so I won't lose sight of him. I made a dash for it. I will be right back. And I am back. This is the one that I picked the first time. Philip! I called out at the top of my voice. But there was such a din around me and my voice failed to, reason, to rise above it. It would be faster if I ran over to him. See you later, Your Majesty. I'll be right back. And I am back. Let's finish up the story. He 
he's not here. I begin to see the ladies once more. And what about Philip himself? He could at least say hi. Oh, I'm not a very nice person, am I? A skeletal waiter passed by carrying a tray of drinks, and I accepted one, drinking it in a little long gulp. gulp. Oh, it's a little better. <laughs> you, sh you sure know how to drink, princess. This one is sweet and easier to pillate. I started to... I accepted the rose-colored drink he passed to me and downed it, and downed it in one. This is nice. It does taste sweet. The waiter gave me a friendly smile and took back my empty glass. A new music woke up in the hall. I've been looking for you. I turned around in honor of the voice to find Victor. He was looking rather dapper. Hey! Victor! Hey, have you seen Philip? He frowned a bit and then laughed. Here I am, wanting to ask you to dance with me, and you asked me about another man. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it that way. I felt bad and looked away, but Victor smiled as if to tell me that he wasn't really offended. May I have this dance? I was about to answer him when my world was that was suddenly spinning, was suddenly sent spinning. My legs felt shaky. Oh, I feel quite dizzy. My legs feel like do I have a fever? I feel so dizzy that I can't think straight. I wavered on the spot and Victor supported me. I'll lead you like this. I felt like I was walking on thin air as Victor led me to the center of the dance floor. Just then, I felt a different hand on me and I was being pulled in the opposite direction. I'm sorry. But she already has a dance partner. I felt dizzy in a different sense when I caught the sweet scent of sandalwood. Victor disappeared off into the crowd. The smell. In a bereaved state, I understood who that warm hand on my waist belonged to. Philip. I looked up, and sure enough, I was met by his golden eyes. I immediately felt safe and leaned into him. You are fairly drunk. Shall we go out and get some fair? I want to dance with you. I said, Primable. His laugh sounded like that of a child. This is just like my dream. Philip helped my waist, and I felt strangely elated as we danced. My heart pained, and the heat I felt never while he led me patiently. I was so looking for- I was looking for you this whole time, Philip. His eyes grew round. I'm sorry, I didn't notice. I decided that the touch of his finger- I decided that the touch of his fingers and hand on my waist felt so warm because of his Philip. My head seemed fuzzy from the heat, and with my I was feeling bold. Princess! In my drunkenness, I had pressed my face in his chest, to his chest, his sweet scent signaling on my heart, settling on my heart and making it tingle. Hey, princess, I... But then the music came to an end, at the worst timing possible. And that one instant, that one instant of ill timing set wheels in motion that would mess things up for me entirely. Philip, there you are! Dance with me next! Can we discuss a love that transcends 1,000 years? My head grew even hotter, and I wasn't feeling too good. I can't. What are these murky emotions I'm having? And then, the ladies were hanging off of him when my emotions exploded. One of these beautiful ladies would be more than happy to accept your love that transcends 1,000 years. It wasn't right, but even with that thought, I couldn't put on the brakes. If she hasn't turned up after waiting one thousand years, then it can't have been no, then it can't have been that serious a love. No, that's not what I Now you can put an end to your ridiculous love. Isn't that great? But without regrets. He frowned with his eyes and laughed. Yes, you were right. There was hurt in his eyes. 
in my own heart the pain so much. I thought it would hurt tear in two. I thought it might tear in two. I couldn't go. Princess! My words were not lightly. And they made him freeze on the spot. They made him freeze to the spot. Well, it probably was on the spot since this is not a very accurate um, translation, but it's good enough. I had a drunken rant and said things that were hurtful. Philip's expression as I left. How could I make him look like that? I had bumped into so many on the way on the way out, my hair and dress were a mess. It was much quieter and cooler out on the balcony. The cool night air helped me to calm down. Philip has lived here in the realm of the of the dead for for a thousand years with a love that remained unchanged all that time. I cherished one, one thousand years. In a land to where living to survive, where he might be erased from all existence if he is ever found out. And the reason he chose to stay in that world was for the sake of his formidable love. And I ripped up those feelings like they were garbage, and the worst. I called something that grew him that gave him pride and joy a ridiculous love. I could recall the way he had died. He had smiled in my dreams, even at a time like this. I love that you are a free spirit. The way you run through the fields, our side by, our side by the lakeside to sing. The way you curl up in your sleep, in your habit of squeezing your fist too tight when you're mad, and... And I also love how easily your cheeks become red and your habits of closing your eyes when I kiss them. I love everything about you. His love was beautiful and true. All I wanted to do was protect him, and yet I went into the exact opposite. Cruel jealousy had burned inside of me, but his intentions had been diverted elsewhere. I bowed my head, covering my mouth to keep in this dark feeling. There you are. Sorry, I made you cry. I've been so long that when Philip spoke, my head snapped up like a shot. Well, that's that. <sighs> well, I guess that's it for now. I am Jandy the Arts. See you later. Goodbye.